Hey everybody, David Avila here with Dana Genchi, and today we're gonna go over what I call the WEC choke. Okay, this is something that I've seen a lot of people do back in the day when the WEC was going on, and particularly the lightweights with a lot of success. All right, and we started modeling it at our academy. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what we're doing. Okay, and again, situation here, I've sprawled him out whether he was shooting in or how I snap him down, I'm in a sprawl, okay? And this is where the hook gets going. Yeah. So you can see, really fast set up for the guillotine, all right? And what we're doing, from the sprawl, yeah, I'm getting my guillotine set up already from here, okay? So the way I do my guillotines, I make a fist, okay? From here, my other hand's gonna support under my wrist. Okay, so, and also my positioning of the blade of my forearm is going to be in the middle of his throat. And so I'm in right here, okay, and you can catch that. And the way I like to measure it is if I do a thumbs up and I wrap until my thumb touches his neck, good to go. All right, so now this other hand is coming underneath, supporting my wrist. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, this knee here is going to slide in front of his knee as my other leg hooks over his back. Okay, so I'm here, boom, okay. Once I have his leg hooked, okay, choke is on, all right? You don't have to have a close guard to keep him contained in this guillotine. As long as you have his leg here, you'll get, you don't have to really worry about him passing, all right? He could keep moving towards this side. That doesn't really take away from the choke. It makes it stronger. Okay, and this works with all the other teams really. The only side you're worried about is if this leg was down and he could jump over here, now I'm in trouble because he's getting cross body. Okay, but if I have my leg blocking, okay, now he's in a, in a, in a bad situation. Okay, so again, I have my guillotine grip, I'm here, all right, and what I'm gonna do to finish, let's move the angle a little. Okay, up here. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move my shoulder that's over his head and pressure downward as much as possible. You notice my hips are not flat on the ground. I have my left hip on the ground, right hip up. Right, so my hips are twisted. All right, so when I'm here, I can start pushing my head in to get that choke. All right, so by myself, I'm like this. My body's scooting in all right, so that I'm pressuring. Because remember, you have your arm underneath his neck, when your shoulder starts to move down, it's pushing, okay, his head down more into your forearm, all right? So you have your arm, I mean, I'm lifting up my arm like the guillotine, moving up. And as I'm doing that, my shoulder's also moving down, so you're getting that colliding effect, right, where they're countering forces. So it's gonna be a real strong choke there. Okay, so one more time, from the other angle, scroll out here, Okay, you notice I've been doing it with the arm inside the choke. All right, that's the way I prefer to do it, but you could, you could do this without the arm in if you like. Okay, so come in right here, as long as you got this leg hooked, boom, and finish. Okay, so this is the WEC choke. Hello, and thank you for watching my video. If you like what you saw, Go ahead and check out my website right here at davidavalon.com and you'll be getting access to even more videos, techniques, tips, dieting advice, etc. Anything related to the mixed martial arts you can get by subscribing to my website. Again, here at davidavalon.com. There's a little box to the right. You can go ahead and submit your name and email and you'll be getting daily updates with videos, techniques, tips, dieting advice, uh, sports psychology, all that stuff is covered in my email list. And my emails are full of content, there's no spam or anything, and you can always unsubscribe yourself at any time if you choose. Also, if you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and click like uh, just underneath here, all right? And you can post a comment there, just letting people know, you know, what you felt about the video. If you're seeing this on an internet forum, go ahead and drop a comment underneath about the video. You could also just put TTT, which stands for to the top, so that more people can see the video. Again, all this stuff helps out, you know, it gets more people to see 
uh, my videos, it gives more exposure to my website. Okay, again, so you can click like, drop a comment, and of course visit my website, davidavalon.com, and subscribe to my email list. Thank you.